Good morning, everyone. My name is Virginia Pradhan, and today I'm going to read Nehemiah chapter 8. Eight. Number one, God's word will change life. Yes, God's word is not an entertainment book. It's not something that you read and you say, oh, that's okay. It's for someone else, not for me. When you read it, let God's word change your life and let others see how God changed your life. And they will glorify the Lord because of the changes that they will see in your life, in my life, as God changes us. Ask yourself as you read God's word or you hear God's word, you listen, to God's words. How does this apply to me? How does this word of the Lord apply to my life? And also teach your kids and generations to come to do the same. God's word changes life. Number one. Number two, celebrate as you see how God changes your life Celebrate God's power and changes in your life. Nehemiah 8.10 says, Go and enjoy food and sweet drinks. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Many times we have the tendency to look at God's word to realize that he changes us, but look um, in particular at one area where we don't allow God to change and kind of feel negative or guilty. Be patient with yourself. God is patient with you. Celebrate the changes that he already uh, made in your life. Celebration is not about um, only changes in your life, but celebration is to know that you have a God, a patient God, who's giving you chance after chance after chance. So for that reason, learn to be a giver too in the power of God. And give to others, like it says in Nehemiah 8, that might not have God's power, God's uh, word to others, and be a giver. So others will be filled of God's joy. That's number two. Number three is, how do you let God's word, his power, and his love reaffirm you? Because God's word, it's always encouraging. It's always pointing us to Christ, and it's always asking us one more step that we can repent in one area and what kind of amazing blessings will follow after that. So remember, for that reason, re and remember that God reaffirms you, helps you to look back, to remember where you came from, where I came from, and appreciate where we are today. We are a work in progress. Remember and give glory to the Lord who led you in many circumstances, from darkness to the light, in many dangerous circumstances, changed you, protected you, and provided for you. And for that reason, because he affirms you, go and affirm others in this world, and especially share his word with others, that they will be encouraged, they will know God and his joy. I hope that you took all those three lessons from Nehemiah chapter 8, and until next time, God bless you, and see you later. Again, my name is Virginia Pratan, and I just share with you three lessons that we learned from Nehemiah chapter 8. Bye-bye. God bless you.